cold wind is blowing in Westeros, my friends. That's right, it's season five. Don't make that face of Game of Thrones. It is here. I cannot believe it. We actually got our copies of season five. We've seen four episodes so far. This is a wood I keep watching, and I think we can both weigh in right now and just say, yes, of course, we're gonna um, keep watching. You never told me why you set me free. Your brother asked me to. Would have said no. <laughs> Refuse the Kingslayer, a dangerous proposition. Not as dangerous as releasing me. The first few episodes here, though, did you feel like the pacing was up to par? Uh, it felt a little off because I think when I sit down and I watch Game of Thrones at this point, my expectations are so high yeah. and it's delivered so many, I'm going to use a metaphor you're going to understand, home runs in the course of its life cycle that when you sit down, you kind of just have to remember that it's not this pop culture phenomenon. It's just a TV show. And they're trying to make a TV show and do the best job they possibly can. Yeah. And once you kind of get over your excitement at seeing the first episode of the new season, then you can kind of, I actually watched them all twice. I watched all four episodes two times. I'll probably watch them another time before it premieres on Sunday. Sure, yeah, we will. But it is kind of a slow burn. I guess I would say kind of a quiet start to the new season. And I don't really want to reveal anything. I want you guys to have all the fun. But I will say this, this is a change that I think you especially will appreciate. There's so many strong women this season. Oh. I mean, it seems like that's a big story. That's the direction the whole show's going sure. in. Sure, I'm not really sure if that's a change. I've always felt like yes. Game of Thrones have had, right. they've had amazing women, amazing roles for women. And now there seems even more so, yes, for sure. We're always getting introduced to new characters. I don't want to spoil too much here, of course. I feel like we really have to dance around these spoilers. We have to dance. But there's not a lot that happens in the first few episodes. There is some death, of course, like you would expect in Game of Thrones. But I think what I'm most surprised about is how sorry I feel for Cersei. And I yeah. have never really felt this pain for her before, and I'm starting to feel it now with this season. Although she's always been human to me, she's even more so now. Well, I mean, one of the dynamic duos this season and two of the ladies that are squaring off are, are Cersei and Marjorie Tyrell, yeah. who you, frankly, in real life look like a little bit. I'm what just going to say it. Mean? You, you smirking you... whore of Highgarden. <laughs> you just wanted to say that. <laughs> I did want to say it. That little monster's out there somewhere drawing breath. There's another character, and again, we sound like because we just have to tease all this stuff. Jon Snow, some interesting things seem to be happening with him. Again, it's very always. early. Always, yeah. And he's as good looking as he's ever been, almost as good looking as I am. I do like where the Red Woman is going, though. I really enjoy Who's that. Red I... Woman? The Red Witch. The, oh, the that Red one. Woman, okay. yeah. yeah. I can't keep track of them all. What? No. You have your because nicknames they're... for him, and I have my nicknames. Well, no, because they've gone to the wall now. They're, they're... She's found Jon Snow. She's found an attraction with Jon Snow, and so there's an interesting dynamic there, too, because they're both very strong, and Jon Snow has this amazing mind, and he's really good at not caving to her, which is interesting, because she's very good at manipulating this woman. You told me you weren't here to conquer. You told me your people are bled enough. That's right. Isn't their survival more important than your pride? Watching this season, it's almost like a Return of the Jedi kind of a thing because, you know, we've had such a good time so far and HBO has done such a great job producing this series and all the actors are amazing. I mean, that's the thing that you can't help but think as you watch season five. We've had hardly any actors in the show so far that are huge, recognizable faces from Hollywood. These are all very obscure actors who've been <laughs> laboring in absolute shadow. Yeah. And now they're enjoying this moment of getting to make something that really means something. Like this is really a triumph. You have to uh, start watching and keep watching right until the end of the season. This is high quality. It's always been high quality for me and they haven't dropped the bar yet. And I'm, I'm excited for what's next. What are you scoring it? You know, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. Yeah. I can't, I can't give it any other score. What other score am I going to give it? That's true. It's 10.